All right, we have team coverage tonight on this mass shooting. News Channel 8's Gabrielle Shirley spoke to a Bay Area father whose son was at today's tournament and then hid in a bathroom we're, when those shots rang out. We're going to begin tonight, though, with News Channel 8's Jana Jones. She is live in Jacksonville, Jacksonville near the landing with the very latest on the investigation. Jana? Good evening to you both. This tragedy extends so much further than the Jacksonville area. We've learned that one of the victims shot here today is from the Bay Area, and people are here right now. They were just screaming, enough is enough. They are rallying together tonight, saying that we must do something about the gun violence in our country. Very, you know, shocking, traumatizing moment. It's not a tough out today. Excuse me, not an easy out. Horrifying moments heard on a gaming live stream as people were innocently playing in the Madden 19 tournament. Gamers and employees at the Jacksonville Landing scattered in fear for their lives. I called my mom like while the gunshots were going on. I told her like they're shooting out here. I told her I'm okay. I'm hiding right now, but they're shooting. That landing employee okay and made it out, but she witnessed some who did not. I seen a body on the ground. I seen a kid um, with blood all over him. I seen people with blood on their shoes, everything. There was one of the people I was talking to, um, one of the gamers, his best friend ended up dying in that um, situation. Two people were killed, and the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says 24-year-old David Katz of Baltimore, Maryland, is responsible for the shooting. He turned the gun on himself after shooting 11 other people. Any, any person he saw, he started shooting everyone. JSO isn't saying at this time why this shooting happened, but witnesses have their suspicions. The white guy got mad because he lost, and then that's when he took out his gun and started shooting at everybody there. People hid inside the landing for hours, praying for the chaos to end. I panicked. I ran inside the coffee shop. I stayed there. As most people are at home tonight with their families, Jacksonville is praying for the ones who didn't make it. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the victims and their families who were all affected by this senseless act of violence here today. Just happy that I can, you know, go home to my family and I'm sorry for all the people, you know, the families that lost someone today. Just a senseless tragedy here. A lot of people very emotional tonight. Jacksonville is usually a loud city, especially on the weekends, but not tonight other than those people who are rallying behind me. And again, News Channel 8 has multiple crews here. We'll bring you another update starting at 4.30 a.m. on News Channel 8 today. You can also follow along with us on our, all of our social media accounts. I'm live tonight in Jacksonville. Jana Jones, News Channel 8.